All right, greetings and welcome back. And what we're going to talk about in this particular uh, video is error checking. Well, error codes, error checking, that kind of thing. Um, so in tutorial four here, you'll notice these files here. And I've already got them in my notepad. So let's take a look. Now, I've already included this, obviously. Um, and how it works is we still have the typical, uh, all the stuff here, uh, but we change the message to flush in the keyboard. And you coming down here, we have a different color, but this time we've got an EFI status. All right. And we're going to, in the, the results is how we're going to check and compare it against the error codes. So what we're doing here is we flush the keyboard, okay, by resetting it. And this section here gives us a return of an EFI status. And when you look through uh, in here, let's see, uh, scroll down. Yeah, you notice that these has an EFI status being returned from most of these functions here. So let's find out which function are we using? Well, we're using the uh, console in reset. So let's take a look and find that. Let's see, this is text input. So reset that one right there. And there's your return status here. All right, so this is what we're checking for. All right. So once it has that, then what I've done is I've created this little function here. Now we're about to look at that in a second, but basically it returns a string that we print. And it's basically this just replacing this section here is all we're doing. And we're replacing it with this function here. And then we go on and say hit any key and, you know, we're waiting for key input. And that's basically it. That's that's the whole uh, shebang right there. All right. So before we go further, if you recall, I had an, like an error code, uh, the not ready thing here, which is this. I originally had this in the last video. It was up here. Well, that's been moved out of there. So, um, so yeah, we're checking the error status here. Everything else looks uh, pretty much the same. I don't think I've changed anything there. Um, so except with the exception of removing that one that I had at the top. And if you recall, there it is. Well, it's slightly altered here, but there's the EFI not ready right here. This is our error checking code. And uh, all of this, I had to hand write all of this. Um, and it checks for these t different kinds of things. You could actually end up returning any kind of these messages depending on what part of the UEFI uh, structs or methods that we're actually calling. So this is a little routine that I wrote. You know, I added this for convenience. So that way it makes it a lot easier to get a return string for when you call it like this. All right. So in this case, let's say, uh, let's see, this right here. Well, then it would, you would get a message back saying not ready. All right. Um, but if everything is good, then you should get back a successful. This would be the default. And uh, EFI represents zero anyway. So you would get this back as a default. So this is basically it in a nutshell, and uh, you can look through all this if you want. And uh, bottom line, this is our way of error checking for things. So, and if all is good, then it will come back all the zeros as a success. Um, otherwise, it combines whatever the error is, which is the represents the eight, plus whatever the bit is over here. Now this is all 64 bit, so, yeah, that's a lot. Or is it, I'm sorry, that's 32 bit, right? Yeah, I think so. So anyhow, um, but yeah, it, what it does is it combines these two and you get back this here. Okay, so that's, uh, that's it. Let's uh, take a look at this and actually see it run. 
Now oh, we can uh, get an idea here. So cut. We'll go ahead and transfer that to the drive. Next, next, next. Read only and direct and HDD. We are on physical there. And just put it right up in there. Replace. Close that. Close this. Close that. And exit. And now we just run it in VirtualBox. Uh, let's see here. <clears throat> run that. And uh, yeah, so this will help us later to diagnose problems because, uh, you know, if there is any problems. So yeah, there it is. Flushing keyboard successful. Hit any key, and it brings us right back here. Reset, and it brings us right back. So there you go. Thanks for watching. Hope this helps. Cheers.